Let me turn my phone on silent. You don't have to be quiet. Okay. Right. Well, hold on. I need to do thumbnails. Now treat it like your child. That's how, that's how your child can suffocate. It's it's an odd, now odd treat it like your child. favorite plush. Now treat it like it's a cardboard box with lots of germs on it from another state. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> and also, if you guys didn't notice, I mean, you guys probably already did because I know you guys have really sharp eyes. I'm in a different setting. I'm not in my apartment. I'm not in my room. Where am I? Ryan's apartment and this is his office. I know, he has turned out to be a collector, full out collector and his collection is looking great. My apartment is looking really messy so I called him and I said, I really want to record this video but it's really messy right now so can I use your office and he said yes so yeah another perk side of dating a collector today we have this box from toy tokyo so ryan has really really dove into collecting funko pops which i'm really happy about and you know we've been um purchasing the new releases and everything and ryan actually watches a lot of Funko Pop channels on YouTube and through those channels he found this mystery box from Toy Tokyo. They offer two options. They're basically the same thing but one is international at $30 plus shipping because you know depending on where you are in the world the shipping might be different but if you are in the US they charge you flat fee of $40 and that includes shipping and they send you three pops. There are different rarities. I'll definitely put the image for you guys to see but there's like a super good um funko pop with really valuable one with like autograph and stuff and there's like a rare which is grade a and then a b is like exclusive grade and then c is the common grade and before i get started i just want to let you guys know that i did purchase this with my own money i did not get in touch with toy tokyo so there is no way that this is going to be rigged i just want to let you guys know because there were some videos that ryan and i watched together and we were both were like that's definitely rigged and then we watched some other videos which you could tell that they were definitely like purchased with their money and they were definitely not rigged so I wanted to experience this just like everybody else so I got this am I expecting a lot not really am I hoping for a lot yeah but do I think I'm going to get a lot no. <laughs> Honestly, if I get pops that I genuinely do not have and would be interested in having my collection, I'll be happy. Hopefully not much Star Wars because I don't know much about Star Wars. But no Star Wars. I no know, Star Wars. But every single videos we've watched, there's at least one Star Wars pop. So I'm no a little nervous. No Star Wars. But anyway, Ryan has gone ahead and removed my label for me. You can also, get, also you can get Funko Shop exclusives too. Yeah, those are cool. I have to share all of my new Funko Pop purchases with you guys. Hopefully soon. But anyway, boop -ba -da -boo, ba -da -ba -boo. oh I shouldn't do that, right? Because I'm supposed to not see it too and it's supposed to be a mystery box. I'm really good at not looking and getting so let's do this. Ah, some packing paper. Ooh, ooh I hear bubble wrap. <laughs> do, you, do you see what's inside? Do you want me to tell you which one to grab first? Sure. This one first. This one first? Yeah. Okay, I, that's what I figured because it, it feels less padded. Star Wars! Woohoo! At least it's a con exclusive. Oh! It, <laughs> well, maybe this is the B. This one is 2017 Galactic Convention exclusive. And actually, it is Star Wars, but I don't mind it. This um, Stormtrooper looks really awesome. Do you see? The pattern on it, it's so cool. I like it. I wonder what the normal one looks like. Probably without the green stripes. Maybe. Or maybe yeah. it doesn't even exist other than anywhere yeah. else. Yeah. 440 second. 442 second. 442 second. How come that sounds really weird? Clone Trooper. And like I said, this is how the figure looks. Maybe I'll take it out and show you guys how the back looks because sometimes there are. Ooh, there's even paper on the back. What do you know? Okay, so this is like a flyer for um, their little, what is it, a PR flyer? It has nothing to do with this pop, but let's take it out and show you guys. And if I am correct, this is actually my first 
um, Star Wars Funko Pop, which I think I'm actually gonna keep because I like it. But every single Star Wars Funko Pop I've seen has this base, Star Wars base. Ooh, reflective. Like I said, it's bobblehead, and here's the back. Pretty cool. I am actually liking this. Do you wanna get a closer look, right? Can you put it in the in the packaging for me? Oh boy, that's a lot of pressure. Thank you. I trust you. You've been a very you you, you are quite careful with your Funko Pops. Okay, moving on to the second one. Another another lightly padded. This is one that I want to buy. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I actually saw this on um was it Popspedia? I don't know. I don't remember where I was looking at, but I literally saw this pop um, a few hours ago, and I was like, "Oh, I really like the design of it." Honey Smacks, Kellogg's Honey Smacks, and this is part of their um, ad icon Funko Pop line. But I actually am not familiar with this character, nor do I know about the cereal. But the character design is so cool. I've said this several times before, but I like non-human Funko Pops more than the. No, yeah, I like non-human Funko Pops more than the human Funko Pops. I also, if I, even if I do not, oh, the camera's been moved. It's okay. Oh, sorry. Even if I do not know anything about the character, if I like the character design, I don't mind having that character in my collection. So, like I said, here's the Funko so Pop. Cute. He is really cute. I've been looking for him. I've been going to our mall every day. Really? For him. Yeah. Can you put that box aside for me, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Did I tell you guys that Ryan also got a box? I don't think I did. Ryan also got a box and he opened it on his Ryan Michael channel, which is supposed to be his everything channel slash vlogging channel, but slowly it's turning into a toy channel. So don't tell him that. Here is, uh, what, what was his name? Um, Digum, I think. That's his name? I thought it was like something, something... Digum Frog. Honey, Honey Smacks Digum Frog. Honey Smacks is the cereal. Oh, there you go. Here he is. Oh my gosh. I love, 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 love his vibrant color. And it's actually. Fun fact is. Pretty um, nicely painted. Honey Smacks just had a huge recall on all their cereals because of some sort of virus or something. That no way! <laughs> cereal, yeah. That is so funny. I mean, not funny, but oh my gosh. Fun fact. <laughs> I look like I have a frog face. Annie, so do you want to look at it? I do. Okay. I'm going to wait until he's done looking at that so that I can actually open up the you know, the nicely padded one, which seems to be the better one for the most part, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think I'll be getting like grade A or grade S. I know. Wait. Oh! Oh! Who is it? Batman. Batman! <laughs> but what Batman is it though? This one is the Dark Knight Returns PX previews exclusive. This is a common, I think. And then Diggum Frog is probably common. So I got C, C, and then B because I think Galactic Convention is considered B because it's exclusive. So I pretty much got exactly what I expected to get with this box. But some people got all common, so at least you- Yeah, 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 yeah. that is true. Okay, so here is the packaging. Like I said, this is the Batman. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one because Please don't hate me for this, but I'm more of a Marvel fan and I'm trying to restrict my collection a little more now because now that Ryan is also a collector, <laughs> we need we need to like be more thoughtful about space and I can also enjoy collecting through him too. That's what I did with Jenny, but now that I don't live with Jenny, I kind of do that with Ryan. That was the master plan. It worked. It worked. Oh. I think PX previews mm -hmm. is like small mom and pop shops get PX preview stuff. Oh, so like, I, I feel like it's kind of like, you know how Hot Topic exclusive had their Hot Topic exclusive pre-releases, but after a month or so, they got released to all the other stores. So I think it's something like that. So I don't think just because it, it has the exclusive sticker, I think it is, think, I think right? it's exclusive. It is? I think you can't get it oh. anywhere, but I mean, you can get it, but just at the I like collecting like Funko Pops, but I don't research as much as Ryan does. <laughs> about yeah, I could be wrong too. I don't know. So here is Batman. 
The thing I like about the DC Pops though, I have to be honest, is that they're not bobbles. All of the Marvel ones are bobbles and I do not really like the bobbles because sometimes they are nice but sometimes like their spring like just sits so much higher so they look like they have like giraffe neck and I don't like that. But here is Batman and this one has a lot of like sculpted detailing on his mask like he is like really angry and they even painted his like little um brown lines. So yeah, I really like the color of this Batman too. Nice and vibrant. Here's an example of giraffe neck. <laughs> oh, this is one of um, Ryan's favorite pops, which is why it's in a fancy protector. But this is an example of a giraffe neck. <laughs> like see how high his, like his forehead yeah. is even showing. <laughs> but if you look at the photo on the side, yeah. it looks like normal. But then you yeah. look at him and his neck is just like, okay. Giraffe neck marble pops. Any poo, so I, like I said, I pretty much got exactly what I had expected. But... The upside is I really do like the Diggin' Frog. Um, that's actually a pop that I was looking into purchasing myself, so that was pretty good. And then also the Stormtrooper pop, I thought I wouldn't like it because I'm not a big fan of Star Wars, but I actually really like the design and the execution of that figure, so I'm going to keep that. About the Batman Funko figure, Funko pop though, I'm not too sure if I will be keeping it. I don't know. I don't know. Will I get this box again? I'm not too sure. I'll let you know. I'm Batman. <laughs> Batman. I'm Batman. No, 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 no. I'm Batman. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> let me know if you guys think this box was worth it. Like I said, this was $40 including shipping. So it's pretty much $30 I paid for three pops. As for the values, I'll look it up on the PPG and Popspedia and I'll put it on the side for you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, and if you haven't already, I'll link um, Ryan's Toy Tokyo mystery box opening in the description box below for you guys to check out because it'll be fun to kind of compare our boxes. Anywho, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys! Do you want to say bye? Doodle. <laughs>